Yeah, from now on, we will deal with the uh, interaction of electrons. Uh, it is a uh, chapter, chapter 14. Interaction of electrons. And basically, uh, in solid, we, uh, we study for the Fermi uh, Fermi surface and uh, theory of metal like uh, Zumofel theory of metal and the Zumofel theory of metal uh, assume that electron behaves at a single particle and like a free electron and they do not consider for their potential uh, potential in the background because in, in in solid there are many ions ion is positively charged ions and uh, negatively electrons cloud is in the outside and also, but uh, uh, can because of the uh, electron and uh, electron cancels the uh, uh, electron screens what cancel the positive ion core uh, therefore and uh, high energy for example in metallic materials and the uh, high energy states and uh, for example ferrimine ferrimine energy itself is very high energy and also they do not they do not affected by the uh, ionic ionic cores. And therefore, then the Zumofel theory is only the single particle problem, very simple to understand. But in real situation, and there are various interactions. And uh, for example, electron ion interaction, or the electron electron interaction, electron lattice interaction, lattice phone, electron phonon interaction, and the spin spin interaction, and so many interactions. But uh, and the, the solid state physics deals with various kinds of interaction. It is the interactions between uh, various interaction in solid is the solid state physics. And therefore, then the, we cannot deal all of them. All of them. Just here, I only uh, uh, think about that uh, electron uh, electron electron ion interaction and also Coulomb interaction. And the we only consider for basic interaction or the exchange interaction, and also more detailed ex detailed calculation on the uh, interaction. Uh, it is very difficult problem, and uh, to solve the, the the problem, and the many theoretical method was developed, and uh, we, we 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 cannot deal with the all kinds of theoretical approach, and here. I will start from the Hartree and Hartree Fog equation. The first one is that the Hartree and Hartree Fog equation. Actually, Hartree equation, Hartree and Hartree Fog is the name of physicist. The first, the Hartree equation is very uh, more basic equation. Hartree equation uh, deals with the interaction of the electron and the uh, ions. And uh, we already know that uh, one electron single particle Schrodinger equation is that the Schrodinger equation of a single particle, single particle is that minus h bar square over 2m. Laplacian psi plus u is the uh, Coulomb potential, and uh, it is a potential, and uh, basically Coulomb potential. It is that energy eigenvalue psi r. It is a Schrodinger equation. But in uh, in solid, there are n number of electrons, and therefore the um, n particle uh, problem. Actually, we do not know that detailed form, uh, detailed functional form of the n particle uh, wave function, but uh, let's denote that it is capital psi. Then the eigen Hamiltonian eigen eigen value problem like this h psi is that summation from to i to one to n. Here i means that the uh, index of the quantum state. It is minus h bar square of two m. And also Laplacian psi, and also this is kinetic energy term, and the uh, here the second term, 
GE square and uh, for the reciprocal lattice vector and also R minus capital R psi it is the it is basically uh, I will say uh, later and also this term is interaction between the ions nuclei and the electron and also uh, conclude another factor is on have summation pro from i and j but uh, i and j are different and also here l i minus l j e square psi equal to e psi then anyway this this term we can think that and uh, this the first term is the kinetic energy and second term Second term is the electron and ion, you know, interaction between electron and ion. And the third or third term is the uh, interaction of electrons. Uh, here, and in, in the case of ion is is a stationary state and the ion forms that the Brabice lattice uh, lattice uh, therefore if we summed over the Brabice lattice vector and also r small r is that the electronic uh, electronic position and the r capital r is the Brabice lattice that reside in the uh, nuclei and therefore her uh, in the nuclei the um, the charge is the ge and the electron is the e therefore it is a ge square it is potential uh, here uh, in the in uh, there are electron electron interaction and electron electron interaction say that it is uh, the the interaction between um, uh, it, the interaction should not be the same uh, um, itself should not be the self interaction and also because of the double counting and uh, we should make uh, one one half because uh, one mm, uh, here let's think about the electron when one and uh, two it is you know, basically electron interaction between the one and two and the two and one and uh, it can be identical therefore the double counting should be excluded there, that's why the one half should be multiplied and it's uh, the, the third term is the electron electron interaction uh, but uh, here, basically, this is the Hartree equation because Hartree equation is the n-particle n-particle interaction, the n-particle problem. And uh, here, the psi is capital psi is that the total wave function, total wave function of n electrons. And uh, capital R is the uh, position of Brabice lattice. And here, let's uh, let's denote that uh, the uh, potential of ions, ionic potential, is that U uh, ion is that minus GE square summation with the reciprocal lattice vector and so it 1 over R minus R and uh, electric, electric potential electric potential is that uh, minus E square because ion is very heavy and or can be discrete uh, discrete position because ion resides in the translational uh, resides at the points that with the translational symmetry but in I electrons homogeneously distributed and also electrons is like a, a quantum in quantum mechanics electron is a wave not a particle uh, because they uh, electronic wave function is by extended state in free electrons therefore then the electron can be think about that uh, uh, not discrete particle but uh, continuous wave 
Therefore, we let's let's consider for the integration right in the summation, the r prime and also r minus r prime, and the rho is the density of electron. And here, here mm, the rho is the electronic charge density. Electric charge density rho is that uh, minus e the wave function the absolute value um, the scale of the uh, uh, scale uh, scale of the wave function then because uh, so uh, there are n here minus uh, e summation i and the uh, say i r square it is a uh, charge density by using this and uh, the n electron Schrodinger equation can be uh, summarized like this and also here minus uh, h bar square of 2m and uh, Laplacian psi i r plus ion interaction ion interaction psi i and plus here we can think that for a fixed electron state and also here electron electron interaction is that the E square for the summation for J and for a fixed electron at I, uh, I state. Here is the uh, Schrodinger equation. Schrodinger equation for a ith particle therefore and uh, we cannot there is no need to calculate for the double counting but uh, because we fixed the uh, position of the uh, we, f we fixed uh, some electrons and therefore here summation with j and uh, integral dr prime and also psi j at r prime and also potential it is 1 over r minus r prime it is electron-electron uh, interaction and the psi i r and also it is uh, epsilon i psi i here we call it is the Hart equation yeah we call it is Hart equation Then the, we should think that, and the, this equation shows that the photo -ide particle, ith particle wave function, and the eigenvalue is the uh, is for the ith particle, and the wave function is the ith particle ground state. But uh, here interaction is the, the other particles, the other particles at the J state, at the R prime state. Uh, therefore, in here, and uh, it is interaction term included the wave function also and uh, it is uh, we cannot solve the, exactly this equation because we do not know that the uh, exact form of the wave function and therefore and uh, it is kind of in this case we call it as a self-consistent equation self-consistent equation cannot be solved in uh, in uh, in analytically but uh, uh, this equation should solved by numerical numerical problem then the, here uh, we can we can check that uh, we assume that there are some kind of there are somehow there is a function on the psi we call it as a trial wave function and uh, we set up the trial wave function and the insert here uh, for the electron electron interaction then also then we can solve this Schrodinger equation then the, we can get the energy eigenvalue state, energy eigenvalue and eigen eigenstate wave function can be obtained, and uh, this psi i can in, replace at the uh, psi j, and then calculate again, 
and uh, we repeat this Hartree equation iteratively, and by iteration calculation gives rise to the satisfying the converges psi i and the epsilon i. Then we can get the uh, uh, eigenvalue and eigenstate. And here I will write down the states uh, steps of the calculation of Hartree equation. And uh, at first, at first, let's make a trial function. Let's make a trial wave function. Trial wave function psi j at l prime. Then insert this equation. Then the solve the Hartree equation. So with the Hartree equation, then we can obtain that uh, psi i eigen value eigen uh, eigen wave function. Then uh, this psi i can uh, insert in the interaction interaction wave function. Substitute psi i substitute at the psi j, and then. Calculate it rightly, then until the potential, electronic potential, converges. Then the, at the final state, we can get the energy eigenvalue and the eigenstate. Then the hot equation. Mm, can it is a basic uh, theory, basic theory for the Hartree equation, and uh, computational calculation can be done in this in this method. But uh, but anyway, then the, this Hartree equation has do not consider for the Pauli exclusion principle, because uh, basically uh, one quantum they do not consider for the uh, interaction between two particles because the two particles interact with the Coulomb interaction as well as the Pauli exclusion principle. And basically, Pauli exclusion principle comes from the symmetry exchange exchange, uh, exchange of two electrons. And uh, therefore, we should more devise we should devise the Hartree equation to consider for the exchange uh, exchange exchange in interaction exchange energy means that it is it is coming from the uh, Pauli ex exclusion principle and the this equation we call it is a Hartree Fock approximation Hartree Fock equation Hartree Fock equation consider for the Pauli exclusion principle in the The Hartree equation does not consider the exchange interaction. And uh, here, because we know that uh, from the power exclusion principle, We know that the uh, wave function, wave function, total wave function is anti-symmetric. Here, and uh, to the method how to formulate the uh, anti-symmetric wave function is the Hartree Fock equation. And also, the trial wave function should have the You have the form like this, and the capital psi is capital psi is the total wave function of any electrons, and with considering for the spin of electrons, and the R one S one S one is that the spin 
R2, S2, and uh, N number of electrons, Rn, Sn. Then here, in the single particle, here is a Psi 1, is that uh, one particle wave function at the R1, S1, but the uh, Psi 1, but R2, S2, like this. Psi 1, Rn, Sn, like this, and the Psi 2, R1, S1, and Psi 2, R2, S2, and so on, Psi 2, Rn, Sn, and like this, and finally, and the uh, n number of particle wave function, R1, S1, and Psi n, R2, S2, and Psi n, Rn, Sn. And here, it is a determinant, and we call it as a Slater determinant. It is a Slater determinant. The basic concept for the Slater determinant uh, deals with the anti-symmetric wave functional uh, wave function. Here, you can know that, uh, for example, when you exchange two electrons and uh, exchange two one cases, exchange one, then the, the sign becomes minus. It means that it is anti-symmetric. Anti-symmetric cyc uh, cyclic. Anti-symmetric cyclic means that uh, it is anti-symmetric wave function. And here, and uh, this expectation of a Hamiltonian uh, is that uh, total energy, and therefore let's calculate for the expectation of Hamiltonian with the basis of the total wave function, then here let's, uh, we can write down is that the uh, summation for i and uh, it is a dr and psi i star r and the kinetic energy minus h bar square of 2m delta square plus ionic interaction ionic interaction psi i r it is a kinetic energy plus electron ion interaction and the plus one half summation i j but the i is not to j and the integral dr dr prime and also e square over r minus r prime and also psi i r square and psi j r square it is electron electron interaction mean minus one half summation with i and j and the i should not be j and the integral dr and dr prime and also e square over r minus r prime and the crank delta s i s j and the psi i star r psi i r prime and psi j star r prime and psi j r uh, here it is a little bit seems to be complex then the i will write down it is uh, kinetic energy uh, plus electron ion interaction and second term second term is that uh, electron electron interaction and third term is that it included the uh, crank delta as i and sj means that the uh, same uh, uh, mm, same uh, spin should should exclude exclude the same spin state uh, because the in Pauli exclusion principle same same spin state cannot occupy in a single quantum state therefore we should subtract the Pauli uh, same quantum state same spin state uh, therefore it is uh, subtraction by Pauli exclusion principle Therefore, 
then the um, the summarizing by using this and the hot wave fog equation is that uh, hot wave fog equation can be write down the Hamiltonian at the minus h bar square over 2m Laplacian psi ir plus ion interaction psi i r and plus electron interaction at psi i r and minus Pauli exclusion principle you know, comes from the exchange energy therefore should we exclude the uh, exchange interaction exchange term summation for j integral dr prime e square over r minus r prime and the uh, psi j star r r prime and the psi i r prime psi j r chronic delta si uh, s uh, sj sj and uh, it should be epsilon i psi i r here is the Hartree Fogg equation. You do not remember the Hartree and Hartree Fogg equation, but uh, you should use this basic idea. Uh, you should understand the basic idea of the Hartree Fogg equation. And uh, this Hartree Fogg equation consider for the uh, Pauli exclusion principle. The same quantum state cannot occupy in a same uh, in a single uh, single uh, quantum state.